Come on, Murph. Like most American teenage boys, Sepp Shiree's love of football came at a very early age and never left. When I was six, I got Madden for Christmas on the Wii, and I just played it a lot and really got me into football. I would watch it more on TV, I would play it more. It just kind of piqued my interest. And it wasn't long before the sport did more than just hold his attention. It started to inspire him to do things he had never done before. Born with cerebral palsy, football was the vehicle that connected Sepp with his friends and pushed him to push himself. They said, Mr. Shirey, come outside quick, Sepp's walking, and I walked out front, and he was taking steps. He had ditched his walker, and he was walking in the front yard chasing somebody, carrying a football. Football also helped Sepp meet one of his childhood idols. Tim Tebow came to a football camp at William & Mary that Sepp attended, and the two have remained in contact through Tebow's Wish 15 Foundation. That's part of the reason Sepp wears that number today. A guy that even his achievements aside, just I admired for the way that he does things, you know, his spirit, his effort, you know, how much he cares about the game. Um, it was really just, it was surreal. Shiree has now taken a page from his idol's playbook in inspirational moments. As the minutes wound down during Atlee's senior night and with the game no longer in doubt, <laughs> head coach Matt Gray decided that Sepp, who has appeared in games before, should also have one last moment on his home field but he got very little notice. Not until about mm, 30 seconds before I went out there. As much as I'd like to tell you, it was like this preconceived idea and you know, we had this huge elaborate plan. It was really one of those things that, you know, right now is probably the right time. Let's go, let's do it. The original plan was for Sepp to carry the ball against Verina for only a few yards before being tackled by two hand touch. However, my dad kind of overheard that plan and was saying, no, let him hit, you know, let, let them hit him. Um, Gee, thanks, Dad. Because, well, I mean, he knows that's what I would say. But even that idea, unbeknownst to almost everyone on and off the field, so cares, was scrapped just a few steps into Sepp's run. The game had been full of trash talk back and forth until Sepp started moving and caught the attention of one defender in particular. I looked in his eyes. Like, when he was running, I was just looking at him, and I was just clapping him on. Like, the feeling, it just... I just, I just wanted him to score, like, I knew, I knew it would be a, a good feeling for him. Verina defender Tayshawn Crutchfield told his teammates to let Shiree go as far as he could, and that is exactly what happened. I looked pretty consistent throughout the run, but there was about three times where I was this close to just going over. But yeah, and once I got to about the 20, I just had no energy left really in my legs. 80 yards furthest you've ever run in your life? Absolutely. I mean, for it. A run, yes. I've maybe walked farther distances, but definitely not at that speed. Um, Did you surprise yourself? I definitely surprised myself. I was like, dang, like, is this really going on? Like, and I could feel it. I, like, inside, I felt it. Like, it was a, like, I, I don't know why, but I loved him as a person because he got, he got more hard than anybody. And I looked back at his dad, and his dad is like teared up, and he comes and gives me a big, big hug. And it was just, you know, our kids, the way that, I mean, that was like, that's like the best thing that's happened to us all year. You know, and what a powerful moment. I turn and look at our coaching staff and our players. I know there won't many dry eyes in that stadium, but to watch our kids make that decision and to cheer them on, to escort them in that end zone, knowing that that's the dream of a lifetime. You know, it meant everything. Once I collapsed in the end zone, a bunch of their players were, some of the, along with my teammates, were right there to help me up. And that really struck me as like, wow. Like, that's like really cool. But the fact that I fulfilled a dream that I've had forever of scoring a touchdown, of crossing the goal line, I mean, it was incredible.